Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of cellular concept. Cellular concept is widely used in wireless mobile communication. In mobile communication, if you are going to consider a large geographical area with a single high power transmitter, then it is difficult to allocate the channels to all the users within the coverage limit. Okay? So, for example, we can consider a large geographical area with a single high power transmitter. So, whenever we are going to allocate the channels through this transmitter for all the users within the area, then the spectral efficiency is getting reduced as well as the user capacity is also getting affected. Do you understand this one? In order to increase the spectral efficiency as well as to improve the user capacity we can use the concept cellular that means the large cell is split into many small cells here the cellular concept replaces a single high power transmitter with many low power transmitters so here cell represents a basic geographical area with limited coverage that is called as cell okay so each cell is having its own base station so base station is nothing but the transceiver it can transmit as well as receive the signal the base station can act as a communication point for one or more mobile devices so here we can say this large geographical area is having 2100 users but the transmitter is having only 700 channels. Okay. So at the time we can use the cellular concept to support this 2100 users with this 700 channels. So for that we can create the cells like this. So here this group of cells. Okay. So this group of cell is known as cluster. Cluster means number of cells which can cover the complete frequency range. So we are having only 700 channels but the subscribers are 2100 in numbers. So at that time what we are going to do? We are going to create a cluster. So cluster in the sense a group of cells which can use the complete set of frequencies. So here we can split the 700 channels equally among this cells. So each cell can cover up to 100 channels. So 100, 100, 100 we can get 700 channels within this cluster. Okay. If you want to increase the user capacity to 2100, we can create three clusters. So here we can use the same set of frequency in the other cluster, but we have to ensure that the distance is sufficiently large enough in order to avoid the interference. So here we can support 2100 subscribers with only 700 channels. So we can say this cellular concept is mainly used to increase the spectral efficiency as well as the user capacity. Do you all understand this one? So that's what given here. Cell is a basic geographical unit with limited coverage area. So each cell has a base station which is allocated a portion of total number of channels. As I told you, Total number of channel is 700. So we are going to allocate each base station with 100. Okay. So then we can have 7 cells in a cluster. The same 7 cells can be replicated with the same frequency range. So here the base station antennas are designed to achieve desired coverage within the cell. It can cover up to 100 subscribers within the limit. Okay. So here the neighboring base stations. For example, in this one, if I have assigned first 1 to 100 in this A, then I should not use this 1 to 100 for this B, C, D, E, F, G. I can use 101 to 200 here, 201 to 300, 301 to 400, 401 to 500, 501 to 600, 601 to 700. Like that I can use. Do you all understand this one? So the neighboring base stations are allocated with a completely different set of channels. Then only we can avoid the interference between base stations. Okay. 
So here we can prefer the hexagon shape because the required traffic intensity is independent of the shape or location here. The terrain is completely flat. Okay, so we can prefer the hexagon shape. As we discussed, cellular concept is mainly used to improve the spectral efficiency as well as to increase the user capacity. So there are important cellular concepts used in mobile communication, frequency reuse, channel assignment, handoff, interference and system capacity, tracking and grade of services, improving the coverage and capacity. We are going to discuss each topic as a separate video lecture in detail. Okay.